Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you about the user roles within the reporting portal for the State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds, or SLFRF program. We will cover the differences between the three roles, account administrator, point of contact for reporting, and authorized representative for reporting. Then I will point you to some additional resources and videos to help you with the process. If you have a role in editing or authorizing SLFRF annual or quarterly reports or receiving treasury communications about the SLFRF program, then this video is for you. Now let's go through each of the roles. So the first role that I will cover is the account administrator. The account administrator for the SLFRF program has the administrative role of maintaining the names and contact information of the designated individuals for SLFRF reporting. The account administrator is also responsible for working within your organization to determine its designees for the roles of point of contact for reporting and authorized representative for reporting, as well as providing their names and contact information through Treasury's portal. The account administrator can also view reports. Finally, the account administrator is responsible for making any changes or updates as needed over the award period. We rec recommend that the account administrator identify an individual to serve in their place in the event of staff changes. Now we will move on to the point of contact for reporting. Now the point of contact for reporting is the primary contact for receiving official treasury notifications about reporting on the SLFR program, including alerts or upcoming reporting requirements and deadlines. The point of contact for reporting is also responsible for completing the SLFRF reports, but cannot certify and submit these reports. Now that we've covered these first two, let's take a look at the authorized representative for reporting. So in order to submit reports using the reporting portal, you must have the authorized representative role on your account. The authorized representative for reporting is responsible for certifying and submitting official reports on behalf of the SLFRF award recipient. The official reports may include special reports, monthly reports, quarterly reports, interim reports, and final reports. Treasury will accept reports or other official communications only when submitted by the authorized representative for reporting. The authorized representative for reporting is also responsible for communications with Treasury on such matters as extension requests and amendments of previously submitted reports. For more information on the SLFRF reporting roles, please review the Project and Expenditure Report User Guide and view our video on adding and changing user roles, which is linked in the description box below. We hope that you found this short video informative. If you require additional assistance, please reach out to us by sending an email. For questions about the Treasury portal or for technical support, please email COVID, IT, COVID relief IT support at treasury.gov. For general questions about the Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Funds Program, please email slfrf at treasury.gov. You'll find the email addresses in the comments section below this video.